Hey everyone, this is Kit Cabello with Harlands Media, and this is Perspective. So we've gotten a lot of coverage on Tulsi Gabbard and her campaign, and yet sometimes here at Harlands Media we have to talk about some articles that are attacking her, such as the articles from the New York Magazine, Daily Beast, NBC, and these articles are usually attacking her past, her childhood, or they're saying that she's an Assad puppet or a Putin puppet, and we all know that's BS. So now there's an article from the Washington Post, and it's basically titled, Tulsi Gabbard Knocks Warhawks and Stands by Her Foreign Policy Views. Now, the introduction, it just talks about how she's unapologetic, how she's a peace advocate, and how she's breaking away from the Democratic and Republican narrative of more wars. But then the article then kind of slips right back into how she met with Assad, how she met with Trump during his first year of his, of his administration, and then it goes into how she basically has served on a committee calling out sexual assault on veterans and service members, and that's it. There's not a lot of substance behind this article, and it, I wouldn't call it an attack piece. I'm just saying it's something that falls flat. It doesn't really say anything else about Representative Tulsi Gabbard. It doesn't give us a new perspective. But it, then again, this is the Washington Post that's owned by Jeff Bezos, Washington Post, Democracy Dies in Darkness. So I think it's very fair that we at least kind of show the media who Tulsi Gabbard is. So we have a video of her in Iowa where she's speaking to the Democratic uh, committee and Democratic supporters and constituents about who she is and what she's about. Check it out. Our next speaker is the first female combat veteran to run for president and one of the first elected to Congress. Representative Tulsi Gabbard is a major in the Army National Guard. Tulsi has served for 16 years and has deployed twice to the Middle East. Tulsi has served on, the Homeland, uh, served on the Homeland Security, Foreign Affairs, and Armed Services Committees, in addition to serving as a vice chair at the DNC. She is running to bring a soldier's heart to the White House. Please welcome Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard. Democrats. It's so good to be here with all of you. Thank you for all of your hard work and a huge congratulations goes out to all of your deserving honorees. You know, our nation was founded on the principles of a government that should be of the people, by the people, and for the people. But that's not what we have today. Instead, what we see is a government that is of, by, and for the rich and powerful, leaving we the people behind. This must end. As your president and commander in chief, I'll bring the spirit of service above self to the White House, putting people ahead of profits, putting the well being of the American people above all else. I'll crack down on big pharma and insurance companies who extort the sick, who put their profits ahead of the health and well-being of the people, and work to pass Medicare for all to make sure that every American who is sick is able to get the care that they need. As your president, I will reinstate the Glass-Steagall Act and break up the big Wall Street banks that are gambling with our future. I'll crack down on the overreaching intelligence agencies and these big tech monopolies who take away our civil liberties in the name of national security and corporate greed. I'll protect our constitutional right to privacy and free speech. I'll tackle climate change by ushering in a green century. Ending taxpayer subsidies for these fossil fuel giants and multinational agribusiness corporations. Harnessing the technology and innovation that we have to create jobs in renewable energy. To provide better opportunities for our farmers to make a good living. Keep more of our food dollars local here at home and protect our soil and water and air. Okay, so that's who she is. That's what she's fighting for. She's talking about addressing climate change, uh, definitely bringing the end to money in politics and numerous other progressive policy issues that she's been fighting for for a very long time. Yet, 
notice the very fact that the establishment media doesn't really talk about that. They always go to the same talking point, Assad, Putin, how she's breaking away from the Democratic Party. And they come up with all these other ridiculous BS attacks against her. It's like they're not even paying attention. But see, when somebody like Tulsi Gabbard gets on the stage and actually starts bringing on real hard-hitting policies and starts addressing the issues that are impacting working-class Americans, well then, of course, the establishment media and the two-party establishment system will do everything in their power to silence her. But let's continue on. I'll fight for criminal justice reform. Get rid of private prisons, end the federal marijuana prohibition and the failed war on drugs, and enact true sentencing reform. Now, the reality is there are many needs we need to address, but we will not have the resources that we need to invest in our people and our communities unless we deal with one central issue. That issue is the cost of war. The most important responsibility that the president has is to serve as commander in chief. Now I've served as a soldier for over 16 years, deployed twice to the Middle East and in Congress have served for over six years on the foreign affairs and the armed services committees. I know the importance of our national security and I know the cost of war. I've seen it firsthand. For too long, we have warmongers from both political parties who have been dragging us from one counterproductive regime change war to the next, who are hyping up a new Cold War and nuclear arms race now. So as President and Commander-in-Chief, I will end our long-standing foreign policy of waging wasteful regime change wars that have taken so many lives, that has cost us trillions of taxpayer dollars and undermined our national security. I'll work to end this new Cold War and nuclear arms race and lead us away from the abyss of a nuclear war that would destroy our entire world in mere minutes. I'll take the trillions of dollars, your hard-earned taxpayer dollars that have been and will continue to be wasted on these programs and instead invest them in serving the needs of the American people. Things like quality health care for all, truly sustainable agriculture, affordable housing, clean water, clean air, rebuilding our crumbling infrastructure, improving education, and so much more. I'll build partnerships with other countries based on shared interests and cooperation rather than conflict. I'll have the courage to meet with both adversaries and friends in the pursuit of peace and national security, understanding that if we fail to exercise that courage, the only alternative is war. Finally, I'll bring a soldier's principles of service above self to the White House, restoring the values of integrity and honor and respect to the presidency. Now we know the road ahead will have many challenges, but when we stand united by our love for our people, our planet, and our country, there is no obstacle we cannot overcome. So I ask you to join me. Visit Tulsi2020.com as we stand to bend the arc of history away from war and towards peace, prosperity, opportunity, and justice. And that's who Representative Tulsi Gabbard is. She's a fighter. She's unapologetic. She will continue to fight for her policies and beliefs. And more importantly, she's not backing away from them. But yet, I don't see the establishment media covering this. That video is only two days old. And it happened in Iowa. Yet no coverage. I guess the media is choosing to turn a blind eye like they always do. Now, of course, they'll do more attack ads against Tulsi Gabbard and anyone else that's challenging the neoliberal system. I guess the media doesn't really acknowledge the fact that she's a veteran, and I guess they don't respect veterans then, because that seems to be the case. But maybe this is a good thing, because if Tulsi Gabbard wasn't being attacked, she probably wouldn't have the support that she has now. Because we know that when there are elected officials that challenge this neoliberal system, the establishment media and the two-party system will attack that person. They're doing it to Bernie Sanders, now they're doing it to Tulsi Gabbard. And 
I for one say that it's not working. She's gaining more followers, more support. Her message is getting out there to progressives, independents, socialists, and yes, even Republicans, libertarians, and conservatives. See, what voters want are people that will actually fight for policies and issues that they like, that they want. They want fighters. They want people who are consistent with their message, consistent with their voting record. We have a corrupt neoliberal system where money is speech and corporations are people. And we have to break that system. And Tulsi Gabbard, her message is getting out there. But yet, she will continue to be attacked. They continue to, to dismiss her, ignore her, because she's irrelevant. Well, try harder, because it's not working. And I, for one, am proud to say that we're giving fair coverage to who she is and what her message is about. And at the end of the day, for me, uh, people like Senator Bernie Sanders, Representative Tulsi Gabbard, and even Andrew Yang, they're always going to be being attacked by the establishment media, but it's not working. People want strong leaders to fight. So I'm going to end this video on a positive note. For the first Democratic debate, night one, at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday, June 26, the lineup will be this. Uh, Jay Inslee, Amy Kulchaber, uh, Beto O'Rourke, Tim Ryan, Elizabeth Warren, Cory Booker, Julian Castro, Bill de Blasio, John DeLay, and finally, Representative Tulsi Gabbard. That will have to be the night in which she will have to get her message out there. There are nine other opponents up on that stage. And I'm the last person to really advise anyone what to do, but I would say this to Tulsi Gabbard and her campaign, fight like you've never fought before on that night. That will be your night to get your message out there to voters to really see who you are and break the neoliberal media message that's been attacking your campaign. This is Kit with Perspectives. Peace, and let's all do we can to build a better future.